they'll be looking at heat energy. Now, I went to Abia last week to visit my cousin and I asked her to boil hot water for me. I was holding a cup of cold water. And she mistakenly poured that hot water inside that my cold water I was holding. Few minutes, the water I was holding down started changing its temperature. I wondered what happened. And I, I tried to recall what I did in my SS2 to know that there is a transfer of energy from one body to another, probably from hot body to cold body. Now, heat energy is the energy that is transferred from a hot body to a cooler body due to the difference in temperature from what I just illustrated. Now, experiments have shown that um, the, the, the heat of a body is always proportional to the, the nature of the substance you're using, the mass of the body, and some other things that can influence the, the heat of any object or any substance you're using. Now, we'll be looking at specific heat capacity. Now, specific heat capacity denoted as C is the quantity or amount of energy required to raise the unit temperature of a body to one degree Celsius or one Kelvin. Now I said the capacity C of a body is the amount or the quantity of heat Required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of a substance or body by one degree Celsius or one Kelvin. Now, the heat of anybody or the heat capacity of anybody can be given as it can be given as this H is equal to M C theta, where H where H is just the heat or the heat or quantity of heat, the heat measured in joules measured in joules and M. M is just the mass of the body. M is just the mass of the body involved in kg and uh, theta. Theta is just the change or difference in the temperature. Let's call it difference in temperature. And it is measured in degrees Celsius or in Kelvin. Is that okay? Now, <clears throat> you might be given a question to solve, and um, you are required to look for the specific heat capacity, which is C. I'm explaining it here. You might be asked to look for the mass of this substance, you might be asked to look for the temperature changing. Or you can be asked to look for the quantity of heat. I said you can call this heat, or you can call it the quantity of heat. In some cases, they call it amount of heat, but in some cases, you can get it as quantity of heat. Now, if you are asked to look for the specific capacity using this same formula, it can be given as C is equal to H all over M theta. How? You make C instead of the formula by dividing both sides by C theta. So you can simply do it here. You can do it here. If I divide both sides by C theta, I'll have H over C theta. I also have M C theta all over M theta. This and this will cancel, and I have this. Now, how do you get the unit? It's very easy. You did dimension in your SS1. Now, the unit of, of heat, I said, is in joules. Remember, it's in joules. So I will use J in joules. And the uh, mass, of course, we said is measured in kg, in kilogram. So I'll have kilogram. And theta, which is the difference in temperature, is measured in degrees Celsius or is measured in Kelvin. So I have K. So the unit of the specific capacity of the body is joule per kilogram per Kelvin, which is joule 
per kilogram per Kelvin. So let's solve an example. Let's solve an example. Pause, pause, for example. <laughs> now, let's take a typical example. Now, I said, what is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 300 gram mm -hmm. aluminium cube from 30 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius? And they gave us the specific capacity of aluminium. Now, listen, the specific capacity of any substance is a constant. It must be given to you, except you are asked to look for it. Now, we are giving the, the specific capacity of aluminium to be 900 kilo, uh, joule per kilogram per Kelvin. And uh, we are asked to look for the quantity of heat. Remember, I said the quantity of heat is what? Is H. So we need to analyze what was given. And uh, we have the quantity of heat H to be. To be three, you no. Know, we are looking for the quantity of heat, and the mass m of this substance is 300 gram. Now the difference in the temperature. Now I, I normally write my to be this to show that there is a difference in the temperature. I have um, 70 minus 30 degrees Celsius. Or if you don't want to do it like this, you can simply it will contain both of the quantity given or entity given. Now I have C to be to be 900 joule kilogram per kelvin. Now I recall that we have a formula that looks like this, which is H is equal to mc theta. We are going to use that because we have all variables involved that can contain this formula. So I have that. Uh, okay, let's do it here. I can recall that H is equal to mc theta. Now listen, in physics you need to convert when you need to convert. Now the, the gram is given, the mass is given in gram is not in its standard unit. You need to convert this to the standard unit, which is dividing this entity with 1000. So I have 300 all over 1000, which is going to give me something like, um, let's say, <coughs> okay, I have zero points, let's say 333. Yes, and use a calculator, you can point that it should be um, 0 0.33. 0 .3. So, <clears throat> I can plug in the unit of, or the, the, the value of my mass by making, okay, my mass is 0 0.33. The specific capacity of aluminum, which was given is a constant, is 900, 900. Then I have my change in temperature, which is um, 70 minus 30 degree Celsius. So I have this. If you don't want to use your calculator, you can simply do with two mathematics here and your calculator. So I have um, 0 0.33, 0 0.33 times 900 times 40. So this is going to give me 100. So I have um, 33 over 100. This can go with this, this can go with this. I have um, 33 times 9 times 4. So it's going to give me 33 times, I don't know. Oh, I have 11, okay, 11,880. Hmm. And the unit is going to be what? The unit is going to be what? Now let us go back to what we know. The unit is going to give me, Joe, here is kilogram, and here is uh, just our Joe per kilogram per Kelvin. And this is just Kelvin. Now, from your um, from your knowledge of dimension, law of indices, this we cancel, and this we cancel, leaving us with joules. So it uh, corresponds with what we said that the heat capacity or the quantity of heat is measured in joules. So our answer is going to be in joules. They, are, they have other units of heat capacity or quantity of heat. I can convert this to kilojoules by dividing I divide this entity with one thousand. If I divide this with one thousand. If I divide this with 1,000, I have something like, okay, I have 11.88 kilojoules. Sometimes people write in jam, you see your answer to be 11.88 kg, a kg. We still have other examples we can solve, but I think the common example you see in this topic is something like this, straightforward. And if you are given the the heat, the quantity of heat, you are given the mass, you are, you are given the difference in temperature, you can look for C. If you are given this, this, and this, you can look for this. 
If you are leaving this, this, and this, you can look for this. It's just to make subject formula of the entity that you want to look for. And that is it. It's very easy. So we'll give you assignments on this topic to, to tackle. I'll meet you next week. Yeah. Done.